Hi guys, it's Skip LaCour. Hey, a couple of you have asked me what I think of the Phil Heath, Kai Green drama that took place at yesterday's Mr. Olympia press conference. And I always look at these situations, I don't really get caught up too much in the drama, but I always say that life is continually teaching us lessons. The only question is, are we paying attention? So I, when I look at these situations, I try to dig deep in, think, well, what can I take out of this? So here's my take on the whole thing. So Phil Heath, said he was going to dedicate this year's Mr. Olympia victory to his father who died in March. And, and that's great, that's touching. Uh, Phil can confidently predict his victory in this year's Mr. Olympia, that's fine. I have no problem with that. I think the problem that Kai Green had is all year long he got to hear from Phil Heath and a lot of fans saying how cocky and arrogant it was for him before last year's Mr. Olympia. Olympia to put Mr. Olympia 2013, which, as you may know, he came in second place. So his prediction of what he was going to achieve didn't happen. And so Phil Heath went on and on how disrespectful that was. I think it was in the press conference last year. And the point that Kai Green wanted to make, I can't speak for him, I'm just going to give you my thoughts, uh, is that all he was doing, he wasn't saying, he was going on his journey. It's something that Kai Green worked for. He visualized, you know, he worked to become the Mr. Olympia champion. It had nothing to do with Phil Heath, and Phil Heath said that he should give, be given more respect because he won it the previous two years. The point that Kai Green was trying to make, I believe, all right, this is what I took out of it, was, hey, look, you're saying I'm disrespectful? I'm talking about a contest that doesn't happen. I can visualize, I can say I'm going to win. If I don't back it up, that's all me. But I'll boldly predict what I'm going to do. It has nothing to do with the past. What you, what you achieved in the last two years, that's fine. We're talking about the future. And I'm saying I'm going to win. <laughs> right? That's not being disrespectful to you. And the, I think the point that he's trying to make is you're being disrespectful right now by saying you're going to win. Because you're not disrespecting all the people all the competitors who came for this 2014 Mr. Olympia, giving them a shot. Like, you're acting like you're going to win already. Well, why have the show if you just are going to win it? We're just, what, just showing up just so that you can win? No, we're all here. We worked our asses off. We're all here to beat you. All right? And if I was being disrespectful by saying I'm going to win, well, you're being disrespectful right now by saying you're dedicating this win. I don't think that any of them is being disrespectful. You can say whatever you're going to do, and if you back it up, that's awesome. If you don't back it up, well, that's on you. And Kai Green was more than happy to take that pressure because he saw the power of committing to saying he was going to win. And everything that he put his mind towards that was going to make the most out of him, push him to the limits. All right? Don't think for a moment. Don't think for a moment, Kai Green after last year and hearing all that, he had a decision. <laughs> the day after the Mr. Olympia, he was already thinking ahead. I am sure knowing Kai Green being a great champion, the way he visualizes success, how hard he works, that he had to make a decision that next year, was he going to put the same thing down? 2014 Mr. Olympia, even though that didn't work out for him last year, and that you know, he got all that grief and everybody criticized him. You know, I have more respect for Kai Green putting it down again, Mr. Olympia 2014, this year, than not doing it by worrying about what people think and not doing it. He had that decision. If he would have backed down this year and not have done it again, I would have lost respect. You know, he had to double down. That's the only way to go forward. Kai Green plays to win. You have to understand that. And he made the point, hey, we're not all around going to, you won it last year, so we're not all going to just step aside and sing old Negro spirituals, uh, is that, that's how Kai referred to it, and let you just walk away and win, win it again. No, we're here to fight for it. The contest hasn't happened yet. <laughs> all right? We're not here to make your life easier and respect what you've done in the past. We're talking about what's going to happen tomorrow. That's the point that Kai Green uh, was, was talking about. And it's not disrespectful to say you're going to win because somebody else won it the year before. 
They wanted the year before. It doesn't matter. He's talking about what's happening in the future. Now, again, he doesn't live up to it. I'm sure that Kai Green is more than willing to deal with that. But if he would have backed down and not have written that down again, I would have had less respect for him. He had to double down. He had to go forward. And Kai Green is a type of champion. He knows the power of the mindset. He's all in. Another point that Kai Green said is that, hey, I know there are people on this Olympia at this press conference who are just happy to be here. Kai Green is not one of them. He is not, he is not just happy to be there. He came to win. All right? And again, you know, him knowing that 365 days ago that he was going to write down Mr. Olympia 2014, this year, how hard do you think that he worked, knowing he had to back it up this time to put himself under that pressure again? He got the most out of him by doing it. You know, some people are afraid to say what they're going to accomplish because of the downside. And that's fine, how he, however you want to play in life. That's not how he plays. All right? He doesn't play. He's not just there to show up. I'll tell you this. In competitive situations, all right, whether it's in business, life, anywhere, Man, I hope there are tons of guys who just keep their mouth shut, who won't commit to victory. I hope that there's guys who are just happy to show up. It just makes my job of getting what I want easier. Kai Green is not that guy. All right? That's just my take on it. That's my take on it. Want to know what you think, too. We can learn a lot from Kai Green about going for what you want and being all in. When you go all in, it may blow up in your face. Right? And you will get the most out of yourself. All right? Kai Green, by knowing, I, I'm sure, I don't know this, <laughs> I, don't, you know, I don't talk to Kai Green, but I, am, I knew, I know <laughs> that last year he knew he was going to do it again. And he knew he was going to face more scrutiny, more criticism. How hard do you think that made him work this past year? You know, we'll see what happens. Best of luck for to both gentlemen. But again, I look at situations. What can I learn from it? What can you learn from this? Are you all in? Or are you holding back just in case it blows up in your face? Just some things on this Facebook page. Write down what you think. I want to hear your comments too.